Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you, if you can find it. I'm still outside enjoying this weather. And that rooster, he crows all day long. What's wrong with him? What's in his grit? <laughs> he's probably uh, eating GMO. Yeah, he's eating something that's not good. Because why is he crowing all day long? But I want to uh, share. I was mentioning this. Um, he wasn't a comedian per se. Maybe in his early days, George Carlin. But at the end, he just became philosophical and just just common sense, which they say is is not common. And ignorance is, you know. Anyway, but he was saying that regarding politicians and those who don't vote have a right to complain. But those who vote don't because the politicians who are regular American citizens, he brought all of that out. They didn't come out of a uh, ozone somewhere they came from out of the population of this planet hmm and that whatever they are they are American and those who voted for them whatever situation is going on at any time and it has not been good ever you tell me when. It is the voters' fault because you voted for these quote unquote politicians who don't do what you ask. But don't I never heard anybody asking for anything. They just vote for personalities. What do they ask of them? I haven't heard them ask them anything. I don't get it. But anyway, he was he he had a lot of wisdom at the end. He made a whole lot of good sense. Too much good sense. It's just good sense. And it's it's so many people. You would think that my generation, the baby boomers who were conservative in the fifties and forties and thirties, my age and up, they would be thinking extremely conservative. Uh, sensibly conservative, but they're not. I, I, I'm just amazed at those my age and up that are going along with all this new stuff. The, 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 the I don't, the, the alphabets, they going along with that. They are gung ho. I don't know. They, I, they, 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 they Christians, be they the uh, Caucasian evangelical or the black church, and, and and voting is another religion. Can't you see? I can sniff it out. I can smell a religion, and I hear others speaking of their religion that basically you're nothing until you come over into. Islam. And in my mind, I'm sitting there listening to you, and it's like, no, you got me once with religion. You can never, ever, anybody get me with religion again. Let that be understood. And I can sniff and smell it. I don't want anything like that around me. That's going to captivate my mind and keep me from thinking for myself. I don't want to belong to a group. And he brought that out to being an individual. Walking alone. Listening to your own voice with a group. You got to go along with the gang, with the crowd. So, shit. But... You know, you got to be a certain kind of people to even be able to be alone. Some people just can't handle it. 
but it gets better. I'm sure it's becoming an epidemic now because who the fuck can you trust? I mean, nobody getting along. And it's been designed to be that way. And everybody only have, there's only one catalyst that's out to get us all, every color. Unless you're a multi-billionaire, you are a useless eater. And I'm going to end, thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. And, and the disclaimer is, this is just my way of thinking, you know, my philosophy, because I have no religion. So I just be thinking and I don't belong to the left or the right. So I don't know where my thoughts be coming from, but they're mine. That's the disclaimer. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. And like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Hey.